Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you all of this glorious trash that I have in my bin here of all the products that I used up during the month of January. And I've got stuff falling everywhere. Anyway, so if you want to know the products that I use, then hang tight. Okay, so we'll start here with this big guy here that's kind of icky, but this is my favorite of all time um, hair gel. I have used this for several, several years. Matter of fact, um, when I started using this product, you could only get it from their website, and it's the Weed Ad Curl Quencher Moisturizing Styling Gel. Um, now you can get this at Ulta, you can get it at Sephora. Um, now the big size is like this, the liter size of this, this particular styling gel, which is the moisturizing one. You can only get the liter size off of the Weed Ad website. And um, but I absolutely love this. My curls really like it. And I do wait until they do um, a liter sale, which they do a lot of times. They do like 20, 25% off. And then I also go through like Ebates or Mr. Ebates because you can get cash back also. So, but absolutely love this. And I use it every single day. So it doesn't make my curls crunchy. It keeps them moisturized. It gives some shine and will definitely repurchase. Then from Neogen, I have the um, Bio Peel Gauze Peeling Wine. These were the little um, pads. One side was a smooth or a quilted, and then the other side had a rough texture. So you could do either exfoliating or you could just do the essence. I really did enjoy these. I was going to get the lemon, and I think they have a tea tree also. But when I was at Sephora and you can buy these at Sephora now. Um, I'm not for sure about Ulta, but I do know you can get them at Sephora. And I was going to get the lemon next, but when I was at Sephora, I smelt of them, and they didn't really seem like they had a whole lot of lemon in them. And I didn't really like the smell of them, so I would um, get the wine ones. I really did like these, and there was enough essence in them that after I did my face, as much as I wanted to do my face, I would then do my arms, I would do my decollete, and then I would do my legs, and there was enough juice in that little pad to do everything, and I really did like it. Um, some people don't like the smell of it. I do. I mean, I, oh my gosh. Oh, that smells good. It smells like um, grape juice. I think Welsh's grape juice. I think it smells good. I liked the formula. I liked the pad. Like I said, there was enough juice in all of it to all the way through and didn't have any problems with um, them drying out to the end. How many was in here? Let me see. I don't know if it says. There was 30 in here, so I would definitely repurchase. I'm not going to right now because I have some other pads that I need to use up, but once those are gone, then I'm going to go back to these. Then from Jola Malone, I used up my um, bath oil. It was the Red Roses bath oil. I really did enjoy this. I had this for a very long time because I used it very sparingly because I wanted it to last because it was so dang expensive. And I won't repurchase this just because of the price point of it. It did smell really, really good. Oh man, it smells good. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. And I had it in my bathroom so I could remember, you know, to use it. And I'll be daggum if my husband wasn't using it. So I had to hide it so he wouldn't use it. Darn it, wasn't for him. <laughs> but anyway, um, I did like it though and um, but I'm just not going to purchase it again because it's just too expensive, especially for him to use. He's quit using my stuff. Anyway, um, this was a sugar scrub. I bought this two years ago, maybe three years ago. I don't know if these people are even still in business and it's called Sugar Works and it was a sugar scrub and it was the um, pink grapefruit white jasmine. I really like this and I had several of these and this was the last one that was in my stash and I liked this for shaving. I would just get a little glob and 
scrub my legs with it and then it would kind of turn into a cream consistently consistent consistency there we go and um, then I would use it as my shave cream and I really liked it for this my husband there he goes again sticking his fingers in my stuff would use it for a face scrub I told him I was like that is not for your face he was like but feel my face is so smooth I'm like yeah it is but it's not for your face <laughs> but anyway so um if I wasn't on a no buy I would check and see if they're still in business to order some more but it said it's handmade in Savannah um Savannah Georgia I do believe so you might see but I really did like this um and it's called Sugar Works so there you go and then from Ofra, this was the Makeup Fixer. This was a setting spray, and I really did like this. This is one of my favorite setting sprays, and I have a whole kit and caboodle of setting sprays that I need to work through, but once those are gone, I'm gonna go back to this, but I do like that, so. From Drunk Elephant, I finished the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This was a really nice, um, facial oil but I'm not going to repurchase it because it's just so it's too expensive for what it is I mean it's a face it's a face oil I mean yeah I know it's nice but you can get marula oil other places that are cheaper so I'm not going to repurchase that sorry drunk elephant but your stuff's just too dang expensive then a little travel size or a deluxe travel size of my Purity Made Simple. This is one of my favorite makeup removing products of all time. I've used this for years. I started ordering it and um, when I first started using it, I got it off of QVC, which of course now you can get it at Ulta, you can get it at Sephora, you can get a lot of retailers, but a lot of times QVC will have really good deals on this stuff. So. But I like it because it takes all the makeup off. It doesn't irritate my eyes, and that's what I like the best. And it takes all of the eye makeup off without irritating, without tugging. I just like it. I know a lot of people don't, but to me, that's my all-time favorite, and we'll continue to use that. Um, deluxe size sample of a Laneige Cleansing Moisturizing Foam Cleanser. I didn't like this, and I was glad to see the end of this. Um, well, for one thing, um, it was very concentrated. It only took a little bitty bit, so that was good, and this lasted a long time, but I just I always seemed like it would get up in my nose and would make me sneeze, and it would sting your eyes like no other if you should happen to get it in your eyes, and so I didn't like that for that reason. Oh, this was a product that I was really trying very hard to use up before it went bad because it's very expensive. And this was the Giorgio Amani um, Luminous Silk Foundation, and this was in the color 4, which was really um, too dark for me, but I used some other, another, <sighs> slow down, I used another foundation that was too light. I mixed in with it to make it work, but I did finish it, and boy, I really scraped the sides of that, you can see, because I really wanted to make sure I got my money's worth out of this thing, because I think this is like $65, so I'm not going to repurchase it. It was nice, you know, I liked it while I had it, but I'm not going to repurchase because it's just too expensive, so, but it is a very nice foundation. It has a really, really pretty finish, but just not going to do it. Now this, I, I didn't like this. There's a lot of people that talk about this and really like it, but I did not. It's the Biosense um, Squalene Peptide Eye Gel. It's supposed to reduce puffiness and dark circles. I didn't see it do anything for any of my puffiness or any of my dark circles, so I um, will not repurchase this. So I would recommend before you um, order something like this, because this is pretty pricey, to go to Sephora and try to get a sample of it first. My favorite primer, eyelash primer that is, of all time, is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. 
worked through another one of these and absolutely love it and will definitely repurchase it. Um, luckily, I had one already on backup so I didn't have to go and break my no buy and purchase one. So that was good. Then I have a little sample of the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. I do like this. I have a big full-size one that is on my nightstand that I'm using currently as my nighttime moisturizer and it is really good and hydrates perfectly especially for this time of year and recommend it. Then I have a It Cos not a not a It Cosmetics a Real Techniques um, sponge. This is the type of sponge that I use to put my foundations on and I like this brand of sponge and the price is right and I think they last for a decent amount of time and I like the size of it and I like the way that it applies my foundation so I recommend those. Now this is my all-time favorite moisturizer and it's from Belief or Belief not for sure exactly but it's the tree cream moisturizing balm and this is definitely the one that you would want to use if you have dry skin or dehydrated skin for this time of year oh i love this absolutely love it and it's not that expensive for such a good product you can't go wrong with that Then I have another one of those um, Drunk Elephant Marula oils, a little travel size. This was in my travel bag and finished it up when we were on our trip, the slash trip that we took. Then I have an Estee Lauder, the um, Advanced Night Repair uh, sample size of this. This is really nice. This is a nice serum and I can always see such a difference in my skin when I use this and when I have these samples I think man I need to go and get the full size of this but then I think oh but I don't want to pay the price for it and then so I'll dig through my my sample jar that I have and pull out another one of these and use it and I just don't want to pay the price and I have other serums that are just as nice but every time I have one I really enjoy it then the Ula Hen Henriksen Truth Serum. This is a really good vitamin C serum. Um, again, one of those products that I think one of these days I'm going to buy the full size, but then I'd like, well, I'm going to try this vitamin C. I'm going to try this vitamin C. And then I get one of these little samples and I'm thinking, why don't I just buy this one? Because I know it's so good. But anyway, I do like that one. Here's one that, you know, I bought. Instead of buying one of those, I bought this one. And this was the Corez um, Rose, um, the Rose one that had the vitamin C and it's oil. The vitamin C active brightening oil that has the rose in it. This didn't last very long because it had so much of the little rose bits in there that the oil, I mean, I went right through this super, super fast. So um, I'm not gonna repurchase this again just for that fact because those little bits took up a lot of room in that bottle when there could have been a lot more oil in there. But, and then you would get these little pieces would come up through the stopper or the little, yeah, I guess that is the stopper, but anyway, you would end up with those little bits on your face too, so. Anyway, the oil was nice. Ooh, I could probably get it. Ooh, I could get a little bit more. I'm going to set that aside. I could get a couple more uses out of that, but I'm not going to purchase that again. It was nice, and I liked it, but for the value of it, I don't think the value was a good value. Okay, let's see. What else do I have here? And then I have, let's see, what is this? The Cora, Cora, Cora Moni Glow Face Oil. This is the Cora Organics. It was just a little um, sample size of an oil. It was okay. Um, I don't. I didn't like it enough to really think that I would want to go out and buy the the big the big bottle of it. So, but anyway, I did use it. 
And then I have some products that um, I am decluttering out and am getting rid of um, because they've either gone bad or I just don't like them. So one is from Kiko and it is a blurring eye balm and this stuff stings like you would not believe underneath your eyes and I do not like it so I am getting rid of it um, because I'm not going to put something underneath my eyes right here and it stings so I am tossing that into the trash and then these um, from cover effects do everybody remember these remember how everybody was talking about these and everybody was using them but these are those um, custom cover drops mine have gotten so so goopy and icky that they're just going to have to go they're pretty much empty because i use them quite a bit but they're just goopy <laughs> see yeah but then i'm looking at them I'm thinking, well, should I keep them? Should I keep them? I might need to use them for something. <laughs> what in the world do I need to keep something that's goopy when they're not really my... The, the one that I used the most was the one that was the pink tongue because that's what I am, and it's completely gone. Yeah, it's completely empty. So this one's actually empty. This one's not a declutter. And it's the one that was in P20. Yeah. And I wouldn't purchase them again because now, when these first came out, they were pretty much the only ones that had this type of product on the market. But now, like, NYX has one, and everybody, I think, has, has this type of product. But anyway, I'm decluttering those. And I'm going to put... This one was empty, so I'm actually going to put that in with my empties as, <laughs> I'm like tossing these across the room, as an empty. And then this I'm getting rid of. This was from Tony Moly, the Tony Tint Delight. I had purchased this, but I, I didn't like it. It was just supposed to be a, like a lip tint, but I don't like the way that it looks. Um, let's see what you guys think. So here I am. I don't like to get rid of things. <laughs> I don't. I don't like decluttering because I um, start changing my mind about whether or not I want to declutter it or not. Yeah. So now I, I think I when I purchased it, which was probably a year ago. It smells good. It smells fruity. Um, I probably only used it once or twice and then just stuck it in the drawer. I think the reason why I didn't like it is because it went like right into my lines. But I'm not for sure. Why did I not like this? I don't remember. But I know I haven't used it. Mm. I mean, it's pretty. <laughs> mm. See, this is how my decluttering goes. Then I decide, mm, maybe I should keep it. Let me bring the mirror up a little closer. Let me look. But yeah, it's supposed to be one of those things that's supposed to make you look like you just ate, you know, a popsicle. Which is supposed to be, you know, probably works if you're in your teens but when you're in your 50s it's probably not the greatest look anyway the other thing that i'm decluttering is this little guy from by terry it's just a color that just didn't really work for me it's too brown let's just put this on top of that the formula is nice mm, i don't know though see here i am i think i'm gonna change my mind I never wear it. Hmm. Oh, criminy Christmas. Here I am wanting to keep this now, too. I don't know. Well, 
I know I'm going to get rid of these two things <laughs> and this. I know I'm getting rid of these because that, that, that burns my eyes like no other. Well, anyway, so that's it for <laughs> the month of January's empties. Well, so much for trying to declutter. Hmm. I got rid of, I got rid of three things instead of six. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.